Hi everybody, so if you're a regular watcher of the channel you'll know and if you're new to the channel let me tell you I'm a bit of a love affair with the Darwin wind turbine. Now, the Darwin wind turbine was invented by Erasmus Darwin for one of the Wedgwoods and what I like about it is that it is in fact a, an air collector. It collects the air, redirects it, blows it over a turbine. I just found that actually fascinating. Now to do that it uses flaps and of course any mechanical device is going to be subject to wear so what I really wanted was something that wasn't mechanical in that sense so we could put that wind catcher up in the air capture the wind feed it on a pipe blow it on a turbine where the turbine was at ground level obviously it's going to be very much cheaper to do that it's going to be so much easier to maintain that it makes it quite promising the issues being that you want all of the air, or as much of it as you can, to go down that pipe without any escaping, and preferably, you want no mechanicals at the top, so you don't have to do jack with it. And the Darwin wind turbine, using flaps, was always a bit of an issue for me. So we tried a, what Envelux was doing, which is a hyperbolic funnel, and that's supposed to direct the air down, and still had the same sort of problems. The air was coming down, and it was working, but quite a bit was also just blowing through and I tried a few things including extending fins out and going back to the flaps trying to overcome that then two things happened one is I bothered to do a bit of reading which is always a good idea and two I had an epiphany and the epiphany was instead of sticking the flaps outside move them inside so I moved them inside and created this cheesy wedge this cheesy wedge has uh, 22 and a half degrees there, so eight of those makes me a pie. So I've got my eight-sided pie made of cheesy wedges. The air can blow in one side because it hits the wedge and it must go down and it can't go through. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a bit simple. And it is. There's no mechanical parts. So you'd stick that up in the air, wind comes on, should be directed down, not escaping the other side. So the first thing we want to know <laughs> is will it do that? So let's have a look at it with a bit of smoke. <laughs> that's, that's amazing! <laughs> okay, let's try it downward. Wow, no, no problem. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> when we did it from the upwards, so that is the vents are that way, it's like a chimney, it just comes pouring out. When the vents are pointing downwards to direct it down, the smoke still shoots down there. We get a little bit of drift on here, but remember this is supposed to have a cap and that cap's supposed to be sort of like a dish going out that way. So we should get all of that air coming down there. That was the epiphany. Make cheesy wedges and put them into a pie. The reading was this bit. This bit is obviously a louvre, and there's an awful lot of research on what the best angle is. Now he's doing 45 degrees. It turns out that's not too good. Actually, the best angle is 35 degrees to the flat. So the wind's going in that direction, the angle of the lube is 35 degrees. Make it 40, you get a small stall speed. Make it 45, you get bounce back, which is exactly what we were getting. 35, everything does what you want. What a weird thing to have happen. And just a few degrees difference makes all the difference. So these have been printed at 35 degrees. Now, you will notice they're basically flat panels. That's flat, that's flat, the lubes are flat. I like flat panels. I like flat panels because, uh, well, it's easy to make. I mean, I've been running these models up in the 3D printer. I fully appreciate not everybody's got a 3D printer, but this is just flat panels. You can make this out of card if you wanted to, which I really like. So I like flat panels. I mean, I do like the Inbox design. I do like hyperbolic funnels. If you've got that ability to do those, knock yourself out. But I like flat panels because it's something everybody can do with a minimum of engineering. OK, so we put together flat panels. Now what we want to know is, will it spin and will it light a light? <laughs> no problem. Let me, let me move it around a little bit. That's awesome. 
Okay, to me, that was awesome. It does exactly what we want. The cheesy bit stopped the wind going through. It's up there, should have a pipe that directs everything down. Plenty of force to spin that turbine and light up that light. Now, for those people who want volts amps because they can't make a decision without a few numbers, that is coming. All we're really looking at here is can we redirect that wind in its totality to get something to spin? Because obviously, if we put that on a pipe, the wind's going to go down that pipe. We can put a venturi in it and get some real speed out of it. This bit, which is a lump of plastic with no moving parts, could be a lump of uh, wood easily, can be stuck cheaply and easily up in the air to do that job and bring all of that wind down. And to my mind, without moving parts, angling at 35 degrees, using cheesy wedges to make a pie, is a breakthrough. I'm just so pleased about that. So you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be doing more on this, but this... <laughs> This took a surprising amount of time to come to, and a surprising amount of help. So thank you very much for everybody who's contributed to this, and um, we'll carry on and see if we can get a really super duper one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.